Hi, my name is Kenyon Williams. I'm principal percussionist with the Fogger Moorhead Symphony, and I'm going to tell you about a part of the percussion section that most of us think about when we think of percussion, and that is mainly drums that you hit. These are drums that most of us tend to think of when we think of percussion. One of the first instruments you often see in an orchestra is a tambourine. This instrument actually is used in cultures all around the world, all the way from Egypt to Africa and all the way on to the United States. And in orchestral literature, it's played like this. It's held with one hand, hit with a hand with the fingertips with the other. So it makes a jingly sound like this. It can also be shaken for a roll sound like this. Another instrument you often see in the percussion section is the snare drum. Now the snare drum actually comes from military use from hundreds of years ago, especially from Europe, when soldiers would march to the sound of a snare drum. And to make the drum loud, they put these on the bottom, which are called snares. Whenever you turn on the snare drum, it makes it very loud and changes the sound of the drum. When I put the instrument on the stand, it's easy to play with our snare drum sticks. Another instrument you'll often see in the percussion section is the tom-toms. Now here we have a wonderful set of Yamaha toms which have only one head on the bottom and this makes them very loud and makes them project a wide range of forceful dynamics out into the audience. In this case we have four tom-toms ranging smaller to the larger and they get lower in pitch as they go down the range. So I'll play a little bit for you on the tom-toms. Finally, the drum that many of us see as the biggest drum in the orchestra section is the bass drum. This is the lowest sound in the percussion section. It has the biggest head, and it actually has two heads, one on each side, unlike the tom-toms. And it makes a very low, deep sound when it's played. This program is funded by the North Dakota Council on the Arts, the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund, with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4, 2008, and by the members of Prairie Public.